And he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. I saw them this morning on my way to church. Black ravens digging through the grass finding food. Of how much more value are you than the birds? I want to define anxiety for you. It is this crippling fear that there may not be enough. You guys ever have anxiety? Anxiety strikes at the heart of both rich and poor. For the poor, anxiety focuses on whether you're going to have enough to survive. For the rich, anxiety focuses on whether you're going to have enough to maintain a standard of living. And I know that possessions and, and paper money or wealth really of any kind besides spiritual wealth doesn't make you happy because we look at all these rich people and they're not happy. Movie stars, many of them seem like they have a terrible life. Rich people acquiring more and more and more. And in the end, they go to the same place we do. You see, Jesus is saying life is not found in the most basic possessions. Food and clothing. Anxiety and worry like covetousness rob you of life. It steals the life from you. And it puts a focus off of God and it puts a focus on self and the world. And I can tell you that we live in what I like to now call the American kingdom. And I believe most of the worldly kingdoms are under the control of the tempter, the devil. And he is playing us like a puppet master on many cases. Don't miss this. Jesus compares our life to that of a common bird, the raven. He makes the point of how God provides for that bird raven on a daily basis, the very raven that you'll hit with your car, the very raven that will lie dead and no one will even care. And then he says, how much more value are you than the birds? Birds we see everywhere, all the time. And Jesus says, you are of immense more value. You are created in the image and likeness of God, Genesis 1, 26 and 27 tells us. Thank you.